Bonjour Libra and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Claude here. Today I'm going to be doing your monthly tarot reading for the month of July. So I hope you're doing well. Now I'm using my usual spread for the monthlies. So over here you have the Major Arcana for the energy of the month. Over there you have the Court card which is the advice on which card you need to embody in order to maximize the benefits for the month. And then here you've got the Minor Arcana to delve into the message. Now, as usual, I ask that you remember those are just general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates and just drop the rest. And if you know you resonate better with your Moon, Venus or Rising signs, then by all means to check those readings out too. So what do we have for my Libra querents? Please, sorry, I'm throwing my cards away. <laughs> what do we need to know? What's the energy for July? about right for the energy so we have oh wow the chariot I like the energy of the chariot that's very nice Let me put it away from the glare right here what court card are they advised to embody in July please Page of Pentacles. By the way, if you like the deck I'm using, this is the Wizard's Tarot by Barbara Moore, and I will drop you a link in the description box below if you're interested in getting it. So, what are the messages for my Libra querents, please? Ooh, sorry, my hands are tired today. Ooh. So we begin your reading with the Three of Swords, then we have the Ten of Cups, Ooh, and the Nine of Pentacles, wow, beautiful energies, very nice. Supporting the Three of Swords, we have the Eight of Pentacles, under the Ten of Cups we have the Three of Wands. And the Seven of Pentacles under the Nine of Pentacles. Very nice. Okay. So the energy is the Chariot. Now the Chariot is ruled by number seven, which is the number of experience that comes from self-evaluating and analyzing. And from this experience, we gain confidence. The Chariot is a card of you know, resounding victory and success. And the charioteer is not someone who's going to take a detour. This is someone who has a clear goal in mind and is going to take on, or she is going to take on, um, whatever life throws at them and overcome and come out victorious on the other end. This is really the drive to win and the success is assured at the end of the road. So it's a beautiful, empowering card. I, I love the chariot energy. I think it's wonderful. And you are advised to embody the Page of Pentacles this month. Now, again, you have free will. I will never presume to tell you how to live your life, okay? This is just what your spirit team is saying, what the cards are saying, um, but you do you. Now, the pages represent new beginning, new direction, messages coming your way, but also the desire to train, a certain level of inexperience and a desire to um, progress, develop skills, because they're training to become the knight. And pentacles is earth energy, so this is the physical realm. So it has to do with home life, buildings and relationships within, or it could be work life, so jobs, promotions, career, business, education, if you're not employed, for instance, developing your skills. Now the page of pentacles is a page who is particularly interested in developing their skills, um, doing whatever it takes to... Um, develop their potential. They're, they're aware that they've got some untapped potential and they, they want to develop that. It's really an advice of being curious and time to work on your skills and maybe skills that you've not developed before. 
So we have, you do have um, two threes energies. In tarot, the three represents um, growth and expansion and creativity. I, I like this kind of energy. And you have the three of swords. Now, swords is the mental realm. So it represents the thoughts you have, the knowledge you gain, um, the truths that are being exposed. And so the three of swords talks about a breakthrough. This is the card that breaks you free from the two of swords, which is... Um, Undecisiveness, not making a decision because you lack clarity or you're not sure, you don't know what to do. This is that moment where, you know, it, it's, oh, that's it, I know what to do um, I'm, and I'm going to go for it. Um, I really like the energy of the Three of Swords and that growth in, in, you know, in your thought process. And it is supported by the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Eight in Tarot represent advancement. And Pentacles, as I've explained with the page, is to do with the physical realm. So the Eight of Pentacles is a, card of, is a card of skills. It's a card of grafting, developing and honing your skill or talent. Um, and the beginning of recognition, because you see there's already seven Pentacles ready and um, she's working on the eighth one. So this breakthrough has come, or is coming, for, for you from hard work. Um, it's not been easy, um, but you have applied yourself diligently. And this is why you are now seeing the way out. Um, it could also be that your work has started to be recognized. There's that element here. And so, you know, you have worked for this success that's coming your way with the chariot. Um, you've worked to get that breakthrough, is what I'm hearing loud and clear. And in the middle of your spread, you have the beautiful Ten of Cups, supported by the Three of Wands. Now, ten represents completion, end of um, a cycle, and cups is the emotional realm. So this is to do with what makes you happy, unhappy, um, intuition sometimes, um, creativity, and obviously relationships, because relationships can make us happy or unhappy. The ten of cups talks about, you know, having it all, basically. Everything that your heart could wish for, it's there. You know, it's full happiness, it's the happy ever after card. Um, this is like beautiful, this is what people work towards basically. And it's supported by the Three of Wands. Now, as I've explained, the Threes represents growth and expansion. Wands is passion and desire. It's your, your spirit, your willpower, you know, what um, drives you, it's fire energy. The Three of Wands talks about experiencing some growth, you know, things moving forwards. It's a very nice supportive energy to have under your Ten of Cups because it's a strong sense of direction towards your fulfillment, emotional fulfillment and happiness. It's a very nice um, energy you know, to drive you because you have worked hard, you've had that breakthrough through your hard work, your Ten of Cups is within your reach and you have a clear sense of direction on how to get it and things are moving forward. And then you get the Nine of Pentacles, which is one of my favorite cards of the deck, and the Seven of Pentacles. So the Nine in Tarot is achievement or attainment. Pentacles being the physical realm, it could represent an achievement or an attainment in um, your career, your job, your business, education, if you are at uni, for instance. Or it could be at home. You know, it could represent something to do with home. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is a very strong, independent energy, an energy of confidence. So I was not surprised to see this card come out because we have the Chariot, and the Chariot is success, victory, and someone who's very confident and who just goes for it. And in the Nine of Pentacles energy, you have this idea of, I've worked hard, I've perfected my skills, or I've worked hard on this relationship, whatever the case may be, and now I'm prosperous and abundant. I can stand on my own two feet. I don't need anybody. And you can be prosperous and abundant emotionally as well. It doesn't have to be necessarily a uh, work reading. So take what resonates. But this Nine of Pentacles is a beautiful card of, you know, having put the time in, the sweat equity into something, having developed your skills or worked at something, and now being in a position where, yeah, you are strong, you are independent, and you have enough pentacles to give some and still have some for yourself. Now, whether those pentacles represent your time or represent uh, money, whatever the case may be, savings, you have enough to be able to give and keep some for yourself, which is beautiful. 
and it is supported by the seven of pentacles. Now this is another seven. You've got two threes for growth and expansion and two sevens for self-evaluation and experience. Now, this is you looking at what you did and thinking about whether it was worth it, which obviously it was with the Nine of Pentacles. This is the, you know, um, have I done all I could? Uh, am I getting the rewards that match the amount of effort that I put in? And in this case, obviously, you have. Um, but this is really something that will happen if you decide to either develop some skills that you've not um, tapped into yet, or if you go on a course, that might be helpful. Um, I'm really getting the strong message that you need to be inquisitive in order to um, make this uh, thing happen, basically, this breakthrough. It, the breakthrough clearly here comes through hard work with the um, Eight of Pentacles and the decisiveness of the ch chariot to, you know, not take detours, not take shortcuts, having a clear goal in mind and really going for it because you know, you will be successful, you get that Ten of Cups, the happiness and the independence and, and prosperity and abundance of the Nine of Pentacles. So I'm going to close out your reading with a final message. So can we have a final message for my Libra Aquarians, please? This card right here. The Two of Cups. Okay, so the twos represents uh, decisions, crossroads, um, but also duality and also partnerships. So the Two of Cups may talk about a, um, a significant partnership into your life, but the Two of Cups also talk about the relationship between your conscious self and your higher self. And I'm getting the message for you today that this has to do with yourself you know it's like the union of what your subconscious mind your higher self has been trying to lead you towards and your conscious self making it work as in taking the steps as the page of pentacles to make it work and this will be a beautiful partnership when everything is aligned basically is what i'm hearing aligning your higher self with your conscious self in order to go where you need to go to be happy so I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If you found this message helpful in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for choosing to spend some time with me. As always, I always appreciate it. I wish you a wonderful month for July and I will see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.